Welcome to finding out more about your emotional intelligence and taking some of our assessments that we have here online. This is a little intro to give you some more information. So you're going to have the EI star profile or the EI star assessment. And then also you're going to be able to take the derailleur detector on the EI star profile. You have an opportunity to rank the of the 21 competencies, which are the most important for you in your job. You could say they're all important, but we're asking you to pick 10 that are the most important. And then you're gonna rank all of them. And this whole idea of how often do you do this behavior? So we know from people who exceed expectations and exercise are doing it five days or more. If you meet expectations and exercise, three days. Well, we all know how to exercise more. Some of these behaviors then is on the same metric. How do you do the behaviors more? And some of them you may need a little more skill development, but it's all about frequency. So star performers are doing these 80% or more, someone who like exceeds expectations and exercise. So when you look at these behaviors, you wanna rank how often you're doing them. And it's on a one to 10. If you're doing it 80% of the time, that's an eight. If you're doing it 50% of the time, which still is okay, it's a five. So you'll quickly be able to see which ones do you need to do more. We like to talk about dialing that up. Maybe I need to do this behavior uh, even more. You know, at least around confidence or emotional self-awareness or, you know, some of the things around uh, building bond, um, change leadership. You know, how do you do those even more? And then you have the derailleur detector. So you're going to focus on your strengths unless you have a derailleur. You get off the track the rail to success, smartest person in the room syndrome, drives others too hard, lack of impulse control. We know we see it all in the media. Look at how many people have derailed because of lack of impulse control. Where are you on that? A three is someone who does it once a month. Two, once a quarter, one hardly ever happens. If you have one or two threes, that's significant. You got to pay attention to it. Otherwise, you're going to be focusing on your strength. You have a couple excerpts from my book, Strategic Use of Strengths. This is also that you'll get. And uh, how do you use your strengths and how do you use them even more? So, for example, somebody who is an average performer you know, or average leader in self-management. Well, they realize that they got a lot to do. They're going to work through lunch. Someone who is a great leader is going to realize they got a lot to do. I need to take 10, 15 minutes break. I'm going to actually go outside. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to breathe deeply um, because I have a lot to do. That is someone that is a great leader. Uh, average leader in managing up. Well, the average leader managing up says, well, I don't want to bother my boss. I'm not sure how well I'm doing. I don't want to interrupt them. Great leader is going to say, I got to spend some time. I'm going to get a half hour session with them and talk about where I see myself, where they see me. Then you also have an action plan, and the action plan is going to allow you to put this to use. What are some of the behaviors that you need to dial up a little bit more? Is there a derailleur? Maybe you need to dial down. And then you're going to put it into an action plan. Then there's a series of resources on the website at EI Central that you're going to have between podcasts. There is a link that you're going to get for three of my Psychology Today articles about the 10 reasons why you need emotional intelligence five strategies on self-development, five strategies on developing others. So hopefully this is helpful for you. The tools are there for you um, and that, that you're going to use them and good luck in everything that you're